thousands of Chileans protested in the streets of Santiago over the weekend, demanding government reform. It marked the one-year anniversary of mass protests that left over 30 dead and thousands more injured. What started as largely peaceful rallies on Sunday soon devolved into violence. As demonstrators threw rocks and Molotov cocktails at police, who answered with water cannons and tear gas. Even churches were set ablaze by vandals as rioting and looting gripped the city by nightfall. Earlier in the day, people began gathering at demonstrations downtown and cities throughout Chile, which gained in size and fervor as the afternoon wore on. Many protesters waved signs and homemade rainbow-colored banners, asking Chileans to vote yes on a referendum to scrap the country's dictatorship-era constitution. That was a key demand of last year's protests, which raged on for nearly two months, as people across the country called for reforms in health care, education, and the pension system. And as the violence resurfaced late on Sunday evening, Chile's interior minister, Victor Perez, praised the peaceful rallies while blasting the late-night mayhem. He instead called on Chileans to settle their differences by voting in the upcoming referendum on October 25th. Buenas noches compañeros, compañeras Conectamos nuevamente Ahora sí la máscara antigua Para Informar y confirmar La muerte de al menos un joven eh, De manos de carabinero Que 
fue en una de las grabaciones que estábamos haciendo una remetida de un zorrillo hacia un pasaje ya nos, le, le habría disparado de frente y nos confirma en su fallecimiento en un cefam del sector eh, lo que manejamos hasta ahora es que este muchacho dejaría una hija chiquitita eh, y ya lamentablemente con mucha rabia y con mucha pena informamos y confirmamos el fallecimiento del poblador de la Victoria, vecino que habría sido asesinado a mansalva por un efectivo de carabineros hace algún rato.